Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY because right now it could be right in the calm before the storm because the US elections are still going on. So we are still waiting for who will be the next uh, president in the United States. So I think as long as we don't have a result and also the US market is not opened yet, we are in this calm before the storm. So before we start with the content, my friends, keep in mind that we still have this special Bybit bonus going on where you can get up to $500 completely for free if you put a deposit of 1.5 Bitcoin. Also, if you're completely new in the crypto space, make sure that you use Coinbase to get into the crypto space. And if you use my links down below here, you can also claim some free altcoins next to these $10 that you get when you sign up to Coinbase with my referral link. So definitely go and take this free money as long as they're offering this promotion. And if you also want to try out Swissborg here, also with your first deposit, you will get a bonus up to 100 euro if you fulfill all the requirements you just have to open up an account with my link and then of course also put a deposit of at least 50 euro or 50 dollars and now my friends let's start with the content because currently bitcoin is still trading sideways here with a support currently at around 13,400 dollar and the resistance up here at 14,200 dollar so in my opinion we will see the biggest price action today as soon as the us markets are going to open because at the moment the futures especially here in the nasdaq and s p 500 are looking quite bullish they are pumping right now so i'm pretty confident that as soon as the US market is going to open, we're going to see some more pumps to the upside, not only in the stock market, but most likely also in the Bitcoin price. And the good thing for Bitcoin currently is that if we're going to have a successful breakout here to the upside from this potential ascending triangle, this would take us straight above our main resistance here currently at $14,400. And that, of course, would be very bullish for the Bitcoin price because we would break out from this channel that we are in now since many days and weeks to the upside. And therefore, the target would be at least towards the sixteen to $18,000. So if you are trying to long this opportunity, then of course you would make very nice gains. But be very careful, my friends. We could also see fake outs because also if we have a look into the DXY, you can see that the DXY currently is doing something really crazy. First, we had a complete retracement back down to the previous resistance, which now is new support. And then we shoot it straight back up here towards the top that we had also here at around 94 dollars and currently we are seeing another pullback but since the dxy is still trading here above the previous resistance which now is turning into new support i think the dxy has now the chance to pump further up and that of course is very dangerous for the stock market and also for the bitcoin price so here in the four hour you can see that we're still trading sideways and based on the futures that we have currently on nasdaq and s p 500 i'm expecting some continuation to the upside also because currently we are trading along the 20 and 50 moving average in the four hour in the bitcoin price and we could see a big bounce from it to the upside only if we would have a four hour close below thirteen thousand four hundred dollar then be prepared to see the price retrace towards this twelve thousand dollar area also where the 200 moving average currently is lining up and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently after topping out here at the top of the Bollinger Band, currently we're trading on the bearish side. So there is also a high chance that first we're coming down here to test again this $13,300 level. The good thing here in the four hour is that we have all the indicators cooling off. So we could see here a big bounce to the upside coming up pretty soon. So I'm expect a big move coming up as soon as the US markets are opening again. So currently I'm not in a trade. I'm still waiting here for a good trade opportunity. So I'm probably going to take a long if we're going to break here this 14,150 level with the stop loss very tight. And the same thing if we break out here to the downside. So below $13,300 to open up a short position and then also put a stop loss because currently I think volatility could be quite huge and it's very easy to get liquidated or stopped out if you are trading with uh, leverage. 
So let's have a look also into the daily time frame because currently here you can see that we are still at the top of our channel resistance here at $14,400. We got a sell signal up here and although you can see that the RSI is cooling off here potentially towards the 20 daily moving average at $12,900. This is where I'm expecting the biggest support. If this one is going to fail, we most likely retrace back down here towards $12,000 in the worst case towards $11,100. This is the main support of this channel that we are in currently and you can also see that the 200 daily moving average is also coming up here towards $10,300 if we compare it to the CME chart you can see that here on the CME the 200 daily moving average is currently still here at $9,700 so in case of a major crash this is the chart that I'm going to watch here the CME chart because usually this chart is more accurate since it's excluding weakened data so if here we're gonna see a major sell-off and also lose here this support that around $11,000. I think here the 200 daily moving average in the CM is, is the price level that we should keep an eye on and where most likely we're gonna bottom out if we see any kind of major crash but so far i think we are still on the way to the upside and we also have very good chances that we could break out here to the upside and if we compare it to the dxy here you can see that currently we're still getting rejected from the 100 daily moving average and we have a support right at the 20 and 50. so if the dxy is able to close a daily candle above the 100 daily moving average i'm expecting the price to go straight up here towards the 200 daily moving average to potentially top out here and this is right at 97 dollar and this could lead into a major crash in the stock and bitcoin price at least for the short term before the dxy continues to to plunge here and the opposite in the Bitcoin price we're starting the next big parabolic run up because here in the DXY we are still in neutral condition here in the RSI we still have some room left to the upside also after getting this buy signal currently is perfectly playing out but as soon as we're gonna close again daily candles below 93.30 then I think we are again on the way to the downside and this was just a fake out and we should expect here the DXY to go way way lower potentially towards $90 and that of course is very bullish for the Bitcoin price and we can also have a look into the weekly time frame because the weekly is still looking very bullish we have the 20 weekly right here at eleven thousand one hundred dollar right at our support also rsi currently is overbought so even if we would retrace down towards the 20 weekly at eleven thousand one hundred we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside and uh, as i told you in many videos my friends in the worst case scenario bitcoin always bottoms out at the 200 weekly moving average which currently is lining up here at seven thousand two hundred dollar so i don't think that we will see such a crash coming up in the worst case scenario we maybe see again 10k to nine thousand dollar but i don't think that we will go way lower and also we can update here our fibonacci retracement from the bottom that we had in march to the current top that we had at $14,200 because this gives you several important price levels here in the Fibonacci retracement especially this one over here the 0.618 right at $7,800 so in the worst case scenario when Bitcoin is having a big correction usually it retraces always to the 0.618 Fib line here at $7,800 I don't think that we will go that low and if so it will be probably just for a couple of seconds or minutes because the bulls will buy up every thing they can at those price levels so the more realistic price levels in case of a major dump in my opinion is here between the 0.382 fib line and the 0.5 right here at nine thousand dollars so somewhere between here i will start already to dca some long starting at eleven thousand dollar if we are coming first once more down here but we don't have necessarily to come back down right now it is also very possible that from here on we're gonna see a breakout to the upside but as it is right now these are the price levels that i'm looking if we're gonna have a big correction here depending what the stock market and also how the u.s elections are going to do in a couple of hours so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if something crazy is going on later after the u.s markets are opening again and also once we know who will be the next president of the united states i'm probably gonna do an update video and also a little side note for the end my friends it really doesn't matter for us who will win the u.s election at the end bitcoin will be the winner so don't worry too much about who will be the next president important is that you just own some bitcoin so that you 
are financially independent in the future that is the most important things my friends so if you like the content don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and please also join my discord trading chat is completely for free everyone is welcome we have a great community over there and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye